All right, so we'll start with the geometry network like always. I'll call it sim, change the name, change the color. We'll dive inside and we will start by creating a tube here. Okay, so this tube we need to, let's just manipulate it a bit. So what I'm going to do is I'll change the, I'll change the height here. So I'll make it a little higher like 1.9 or maybe 1.95 I think this is nice I'll change the number of rows here let's make it equal to our columns that is 12 another thing that I'm going to do is I'll change the radius here something like 0 0.65 let's make it a bit thin something like this also yeah also what we can do is we need to move it up a bit so I'll just copy our height paste it in the Y center and I'll divide it by 2 and that way our tube is going to sit on the surface properly okay after this what we need to do is I'm going to create normals for this so let's just create normals I'll change it to points add normals to points after this we are going to scatter some points so let's scatter points a thousand a thousand points are enough for now I think okay what we can do now is I'll just create a curve to create our curves I'm using a Bezier curve I'll go to the top view here and now I'll just construct a curve I'll create a point here I'll click and actually let me just do it one more time I'll create one point here somewhere here click and pull click and pull here another point and the fourth point should be something something here yeah what we can do is we can manipulate the the angles here the curves here okay so these are the control points just use them and create a curve like this somewhat of a flower petal that's what we want okay maybe I'll pull it a bit something like this okay this is what we are getting and after our curve I'm going to use a resample node to resample this I'll just create more points here by changing the length to 0 0.05 change the target treat polygon as subdivision curves okay this is what we have after this I am going to use maybe another subdivide just to make sure that we have enough points here 53 points 53 points yeah okay this is looking nice what we can do now is I'll use a group because we need to create the base we need to create a group which can which has the base points here okay base points of this petal so I'll just create this group using the bounding box just align this properly and now we can use a copy to points node a copy to points node let's connect it here this one to here and now when we see it this is what we are getting if I go to the perspective you can see we have a lot of curves here all the curves are all the curves are they are copied to all the points that we have scattered earlier okay and that's what we wanted this is nice after our normal let me just use a polyfill because this is the this is our colliding geometry that we will be using so I have filled this using quadrilateral grid and after this what I'm going to do is I'll use a I'll use a I'll use transform here 
okay because i want this colliding geometry to rotate in the y direction something like this okay so what i can do is i'll use a function here called sine function sine at the rate frame and what this is going to do is it will move our geometry or rotate our geometry in the y direction but nothing seems to be happening here let me just reset viewport okay if you look closely then this is rotating in the y direction it's just that the amount is very low so what i can do is i'll just multiply it by a big number maybe 150 and now you can see that this is rotating and it is it is rotating in loop it is moving towards it is moving anti-clockwise and then after some point it is rotating clockwise what i want is i wanted this to have enough number of rotations that's why i multiplied the frame with three and let me just scattered scatter our points here so all of our scattered points are also rotating they are animating but whenever you are scattering points on a animated geometry there's always some kind of error because the points will be flickering or will they will be jittering uh, you will not be able to see it properly here but when we do the final render it is going to cause some pain so just to visualize as i turn on the normals okay as i said this is going to be a problem whenever you are scattering points on an animated geometry so to fix that even though you even though if you look closely you won't see any problem here but just be assured that there can be problem and we do not want to find it out later when we are rendering this so i just want to fix it now okay and to fix that what i'm going to do is i'll come to our i'll come to our geometry here or the scatter and before our scatter uh, i'll use a time shift node just to make sure that we are scattering our point on a on a static geometry so time shift i'll delete channel here the frame should be one so this is not animating anymore and we are scattering our points here come to scatter and turn on the prim num attribute and the prim uvw attribute okay and after this i'm going to use a attribute interpolate okay so we will take our animated geometry connected to the first input and our scattered points and now when we do this actually this is going to be inward now when we see our scattered points you can see now we are not going to get any problem okay because all the scattered points are scattered on the surface of our tube and they also remember the uvw points or the surface on which they are being scattered so that is not going to change the the position is not going to change for the for the points and after connecting to the copy to points this is what we are getting what we can do is i'll just use a vellum configure here now to create our vellum hair constraints and i'll just change the group type to points vellum configure hair or vellum hair constant um, let me just visualize the thickness here first maybe we can make some changes here and then i'll explain it when i'm constrained when i'm here constraints to you okay the thickness of the points is too low so what i want is i'll just increase the edge length scale here to maybe something like 0 0.55 actually you can increase more but okay this is this is good for now this is good for now and what we can do now is vellum hair produces uh, or give our hair geometry um, the qualities of hair and i have used our group for our pin as you can see if you come to our group here this is our group and in the pin to animation i selected the pin points as our pin okay and now we are at the stretch 
the stiffness the higher the stiffness the stiffier the hair are going to be i will keep it at 20 plus 7 and i bend stiffness control how bendy the hair is going to be so i think i just keep the bend to 0 0.001 that would be nice what we can do now is we can just connect it to our vellum solver and in the vellum solver I think everything is fine I'll just turn on the force as here the gravity force we do not need that this is looking it's nice okay so come to vellum solver I'll go to forces I'll just delete our gravity force now when we play this hopefully it will work fine so let's run this i think what we can do is i'll just use a transform node here and i'll rotate it like this let me just turn on the grid now you can see i wanted it to be parallel to our grid so it's no big deal, they are still rotating. And okay. Now we can run this. I'll just keep the frames at 150. After the simulation, I'm using attribute delete because I do not want any attributes to be transferred further. I'll just use a color node and make it blue. Something like this. Turn on the turn off the grid and we are using a sweep node to give geometry to our hair here so I'm using a surface area round tube and this is too thick the radius is too much here let me just decrease the radius to 0 0.0075 that's what I used in my sample here okay and uh, this blue color is too dark maybe we can use green 0 0.5 this is looking okay everything is okay we can you can come to the UV attributes here and turn on compute UV so that our geometry here has UV okay scale is one by one which is all right I don't think we need to change it now we can run our simulation and I think let's see what happens